Let's learn how to read a variable resistor, in this case a potentiometer, using Arduino's analog input. You can follow along virtually using Tinkercad circuits, or optionally grab your Arduino Uno board and a USB cable, along with a breadboard, any value potentiometer and an LED, as well as a resistor and breadboard wires. We'll build upon the basic circuit for lighting up an LED connected to pin 13. So if that's new to you, follow the link to check out that introductory lesson first. In the previous lesson, we learned to detect a push button state, on or off, with digital input. In this lesson, we'll move to the opposite side of the Arduino board to the analog inputs, which sense the gradually changing electrical signal from turning the potentiometer. The Arduino's analog to digital converter, or ADC, converts an incoming analog signal between 0 and 5 volts into a range of numbers from 0 to 1023. Click Start Simulation on the sample program and click to drag the knob around. You can also just click around the potentiometer to move the knob to that position. Try it for yourself in Tinkercad circuits. Add a potentiometer to the basic LED circuit and wire up the outer pins to power and ground and the center pin to Arduino pin A0. Since you may just be getting the hang of using the solderless breadboard, here's the equivalent free-wired version of this circuit for comparison. You can build either way in the circuits editor, but if you're also building a circuit with physical components, the breadboard will help your virtual circuit look the same. Let's compose some simple code to read the changing value of the potentiometer by opening up the code blocks editor. Create a new variable called sensor value, then drag out a set block. In the input category, grab a block called read analog pin and place it inside the set block. Click the output category and drag out a block to set the built-in LED to high or on. Then click the control category and drag out a weight block and navigate to variables to grab the sensor value and place it inside the weight block. Make sure the drop-down menu is set to milliseconds. Duplicate this block and sandwich them around another output block to set the built-in LED low or off. So this section turns the LED on, waits between 0 and 1023 milliseconds, turns the LED off, and waits the same time again. In the text editor, you can see the Arduino code generated by the code blocks. After creating our variable sensor value, inside the setup we use the pin mode function to establish analog pin A0 as an input and digital pin 13 as an output. The code inside the loop uses a new function called analog read to listen to the pin's state. Intersperse are comment lines marked with double slashes, which are just notes to help clarify what the program is doing. They aren't actually included in the final program when it runs on the Arduino. The program uses a familiar function, digital write, and then another one you might know well, delay. But instead of pausing for a fixed amount of time, the value passed to the delay function will change as you turn the knob, because each time through the loop, it's going to read the position again. So the LED flashes at a rate of somewhere between 0 and 1023 milliseconds, or just about a second or less. The basic potentiometer circuit and code is available as a circuit starter. Use it anytime you want to read a potentiometer or other kind of variable resistor with analog input. Find the Arduino starters in the components panel in the drop down menu. You can wire up your physical Arduino Uno the same way it's pictured in Tinkercad circuits, then copy the code from the window and paste it into an empty Arduino sketch or click the download code button and open the resulting file using your Arduino software. Now that you know how to detect analog inputs, mastering the serial monitor is a tremendously useful next step. Combining analog inputs with the serial monitor will let you detect light with a photoresistor, use a temperature sensor or an ultrasonic distance sensor. Thanks for watching and learning with Tinkercad Circuits. Check out the rest of our huge collection of interactive beginner electronics tutorials and even build circuits into your 3D designs. See you next time.